Hey Tube, Z Ball is cooler than you. He is here in the house. I'm just kidding. Um, but today I'm gonna show you how to make duct tape pencil pouches. I only have purple and turquoise right now, and they're almost gone. So I really have to go get more. So I definitely will. I definitely will get more duct tape, like the next time I go shopping. But I only have these. That's why they're only like this. This is the one I'm working on right now, which I'm gonna work with you guys. But um, it looks bad. But I'll explain everything in a little bit. Now, they all have, like, creases. Like, see this crease and stuff? It's because the way the pouch is, it's, like, bent a little bit. This one is actually one of my favorites because it's it's been wrapped on, like, four layers. Yeah, no joke. And it just got an axe and says, you know, some things and stuff. It says that we can only open this, nobody else. Another one I made with hearts. Not really done. But the only things you need are duct tape, your hands. Scissors! If you don't know how to rip duct tape, then you need scissors. Otherwise, you don't need them. That must have been dangerous. I'm just kidding. Sharpies! If you want Sharpies to draw. You're one, You're probably wondering right now. Why do you, If you have this pencil case, why are you making another one? Because I like to. And I don't sell anything, but if you want to buy it, I'll give me a call. I'm just kidding. And then you're going to need your everyday supplies. Your red pen. Your blue pen. Your highlighter. And your pencils. Can't leave home without these. Just kidding. Um, but you will need those. Probably at school. So, otherwise this would be a total waste of your time. So why bother even watching this video? Because I'm cool. Yes, I know that. Um, but I'm going to show you how to put in it. I'm going to show you what it looks like in a binder when it's all finished and everything too. But let's just get started. Because it's already been a minute. And I can only do six minute videos. So let's just get it. Okay. Lola. So I put... Strip, strip, strip. And I did strips. I didn't do purple on the bottom, just two strips, no. And then I have this one. It's kind of like, you know, different. And it looks really bad, like the sides. See, they're totally not even all the way. But this is when the fun comes in. I'm just kidding. Wait, where do I start? Okay. So you're going to take some of your duct tape and rip it in half. Okay, here you just, you know, just at first... First thing you want to do is just cover it with any different colors, patterns, and just do whatever different designs you want on it. Just me, I will get more colors because I want so many different colors right now. Okay, and then for the sides, oh, you're going to need one of these too because I just said everything you need and I forgot to say this. But measure about the side length and you're going to wrap it around. So this is a little bit too long, so I figured out the spot. Rip it in half, and if it's too short, you might want to make a new piece or save it for later. All right, this is just perfect, so make sure you don't get any tape on the ring, and start where you started the top of your duct tape, and go halfway over. Halfway over, halfway seal. I will cut the extra off in just a minute. And then you flip the other side over and pull it down so there's no creases or anything in it. Now here's when you use your scissors. There we go. Oh, already been three minutes. Okay, we can do this. So now it's a little bit more neater. Time to take another piece. Wait, this is too thick, isn't it? No, it's not. Never mind. This might be too thick, but whatever. Just about right. I totally made it too short. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, if you have extra duct tape like me, I'm going to be selling it for the rest of the city. Mm hmm. That didn't hurt, by the way. Oh, I'm going to make a mini bow real quick. Here's my miniature cough. Okay. Here's my miniature bow. 
Okay, uh, darn it, five minutes, yikes. Okay, so take, take your tape, measure it, rip it. I'm sensing a pattern here. All right, remember, half on. Try to make it even to the other side. If you can't, that's okay. Mm-hmm. Other side. Dun, dun, dun. Flipped it over. Cut it off. Dun, 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 dun. And it's about exactly even with the other side. So, boom. This is done. Bam. This is done. It's all done. And now I'm going to, you know, you can put different colors, things... Or you can even do this. Glue your bow on, which I'm so going to do. Or this. Okay, now we're going to take another piece of aqua. No, we're going to take a piece of purple. Da -da 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 -da. Purple power. This isn't purple power, but whatever. Take some of it. Not too much. Tear some of it. Put the rest somewhere else. And yeah, that's fine. Take the skinny part. Put on whatever side you want. I'm gonna put it on this side only because. Wait, I'm gonna put it on this side only because you know. No, I'm doing it on this side because that's cool. So. Put it. So now your bow's like this. This was very smart of me. Push down on seven minutes. Oh well, I'll try to upload this. But yeah, so here's your finished pouch. And this is what it looks like inside. Your binder. You got your little pouch here. I don't recommend having the bow one in here, but but whatever floats your boat partner, whatever makes the ship sink. I'm just kidding. All right, well I gotta go. So thanks for watching. Bye.